Trends emerging from Fashion Week, post-pandemic consumer anxiety and the evolution of low alcohol beverages. That and more on today's episode. Want to know what's next? For over two decades, we've led the world's most influential brands to create the right products at the right time for tomorrow's consumer. This is WGSN's Client Questions Answered. Hello and welcome to the show where our experts from around the globe unpack your biggest challenges. I'm Carla Bazashi, President and CEO at WGSN. Let's get started with our first question, which comes from a fashion client asking, what are some of the overarching themes we're seeing coming out of the spring summer 2023 shows? A very timely question. This month, we're seeing Fashion Week events taking place across Milan, New York, London, and Paris. So let's hear from Sophia, our content strategist and trend forecaster based in Sao Paulo. Over to her now. With Paris Fashion Week just about to end, we're already able to identify some of the key trends coming from the catwalks for spring summer 23. First, we see the ongoing casualization of tailoring and office-ready clothing, with brands catering to consumers' increasingly life flexible lifestyles. Second, although there are brands still offering over-the-top, party-led styles, many seem to understand the harsh reality of the rise in cost of living, bringing longevity to the fore through seasonless pieces and year-round colors. Lastly, Sensuality remains a key driver for brands who continue to take on bold cutouts and bodycon silhouettes in sheer fabrics, often tapping into our trends, underwear, outerwear, and subversive sexy. Amazing. Thank you, Sophia. You can also check out the feed to see our curation of the emerging trends of the day. It's the fastest way to find out new trends at fashion weeks across the globe. Our next question comes from a client asking, how are consumer emotions evolving in the post-pandemic world? Is anxiety driving their spending habits? Let's pass this over to Martina, our creative strategist based in Italy. Over to you, Martina. So in the last two years, consumers have been through a roller coaster of emotions, ultimately building emotional resilience, which is the process of adapting in the face of shock, stress, trauma, and threat. So consumer choices are definitely being impacted by this plurality of emotions, and this includes anxiety and stress. But there are several strategies that brands can put in place to respond to these emotional needs and to help their customers to achieve emotional and mental well-being. So as consumers continue to navigate these emotionally complex and charged times, it will be increasingly important for them to connect with brands that understand adapt and react to their emotional needs. So use this as an opportunity and be emotionally intelligent. Tune in with the emotional needs of your audience, adapting messages, products, services to their emotional needs, feelings and moods. Open up a closed conversation with your audience using social media as an intimate conversational platform. Amazing. Thank you, Martina, for that answer. Our final question for today comes from a client asking, what evolutions in the no or low alcohol industry should drink brands take note of? Giving us their take on this topic is Jian, our features consultant based in Singapore. Let's hear from her now. The no and low alcohol beverage industry is on the rise, driven in part by heightened consumer focus on health and well-being. We're seeing a shift towards mindful drinking as a choice with non-alcohol beverages fast becoming an aspirational choice that consumers are willing to pay a premium for. Now is the time for not only drink brands, but also restaurants and hospitality businesses to reimagine nightlife and occasions for drinking that include the sober curious consumer. For instance, redesign drinking rituals, reimagine occasions and settings, as well as design new options, taking inspiration from wellness concepts such as functional drinks, as well as wellness travel. Great stuff, thanks, Jian. Head over to our food and drink site to see our key trend report on alcohol-free drinks from upgraded mocktails to adaptogenic sips. That's it for this week. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like answered, please pop them in the comments box for our team. I'm Carla Bazashi, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.